Jake Fett. Battle stash. This is your battle stash. Hey guys, uh, welcome to episode two of the Jake Fit vlog. Just out in the backyard, hanging out in the trees, chilling out. There's a little story behind this week's vlog. I had a really, I'd already done one. I hope my finger isn't, it is, it's on the microphone. I already did a vlog and then realized, and it was really cute, it had the baby in it and everything. Chrissy's got the baby at the baby swap, baby, <laughs> baby gear swap right now. So it's just me and, uh, and Len, I don't know, his tail's just disappearing under the deck. He's probably going for a poop. Anyway, um, so I forgot to mention something and, and it was too long anyway. So uh, let's just talk about a few things. Um, so this week I had, uh, you know, let's talk about happiness for a second. This week I had an epiphany or as uh, Ricky from the Trailer Park Boys would probably say, I had an episiotomy. Um, so you know the cliche that uh, the only person responsible for your happiness is yourself? Uh, that actually, I think, is probably, that's probably true. Um, you know, it's funny. You have, there are things you can control. Your weight, your fitness level. And control those. You know, and, and go for it, really go for it. And then there are things you can't control. If uh, Kim Jong-un decides to drop a nuclear bomb on my house, I can't control that. I, un unless he's a big, J <laughs> if he's a huge Jake Fit fan. There's Lennox. So if Kim Jong-un is like, oh, Jake, that's Jake Fit's house. Yeah, I'm not gonna drop a bomb on it now. Then maybe I can't control it. I, I don't think that's likely the case. So I spend so much time worrying about politics and about, healthcare in New Brunswick and all this stuff and it just you know it's giving me an ulcer and well it was but you know um, this this whole process this is about turning my life around and a big part of that is to be a positive guy I know a lot of you are thinking oh he's so chipper he's always positive he's so happy all the time my neighbors think I'm nuts uh, but that's uh, you know that wasn't always the case but this week I really focused on being positive and uh, try, and there were some, there were some obstacles, and I, I'm still, I'm still working on it. <laughs> if if you work with me, you know there was there was one day where I wasn't so chipper. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna be more positive, and I, it feels great. I mean, what's the, if you can't control it, why worry about it, right? And that ties in. This week's song is um, not so much a workout song, but just a, you know, drive into the gym song. Uh, it's called uh, Happy Now by Pete Murray. He's a guy in Australia. My brother turned me on to him. My brother lives in Australia. Hi, Dan. Hi, Aaron. Hi, Alice. Um, and uh, anyway, Pete Murray, this song, Happy Now, is like the most important song in my life right now. And the reason is, you know, it makes me think happiness is so fragile when you're an adult. When you're a kid, you think it's going to last forever. You think you don't even know how happy you are. You just, you know you're happy, but you don't realize how great it is. If you have a good childhood, which I, I mean, my brother and I had an awesome childhood, so we can't really complain about it. But uh, you know, uh, but then when you're an adult, happiness is so fragile, and it's such a shame not to have it, especially if you're at the stage of life that I am now, to not be happy, because this isn't going to last forever. I'm, you know, your health doesn't last forever, even if you're fit. So it's crazy to go through life in a body that you're not happy with. When it's so easy, all it takes is hard work and uh, a desire to have a better you. Um, be more positive and, and, uh, and that kind of thing. And just focus on that. And, and if that's what it takes, that's what it takes to, for me to be happy now. That's, I know that's wh what it's gonna be. Um, that's my big thing. Whatever your big thing is. Like if you're a smoker and you're like, oh, I've been trying to quit smoking. Just do it, just do it. It's so crazy to spend your life not happy about, uh, well, you know, yourself and, and your life. Uh, anyway, so there, motivation. Be happy, just be happy. What are you, crazy? What are you, nuts? Being negative? Being a Debbie Downer? Negative Nancy? Lennox, stop being such a negative Nancy. Be happy, for God's sake. Uh, anyway, yeah, be happy. Just focus on that this week. Make every day feel like, you know that happiness you usually feel on a Friday? Maybe I messed that up this week. Maybe Friday wasn't my best day, but you know how Friday is usually the happiest day of the week? Just do that every day this week. Just be like, 
man, I try and go, you know, maybe I do like my job. Maybe this is, maybe this is great. I think of the good things every day. Think why was today awesome? Okay. This is going on too long. This is like five minutes into me just preaching about happiness. Don't, don't unsubscribe. Okay. Just bear with me. It's going to get healthy. Um, so the, the health stuff, I kind of got to this plateau this week. I'm not supposed to weigh myself, but I'm so worried about this mustache being here forever. I'm going to look like Wyatt Earp. So I got a little frustrated. I didn't see big numbers changing on the scale, but then I thought, you know, I'm doing all the right things. I didn't make a single bad decision this week. I didn't make one decision that I regretted going to bed. So geez, that's an accomplishment. I feel good about that. And if the numbers aren't moving rapidly, whatever. That's not a big deal. I'm going to have a workout and then uh, weigh in and we'll, we'll film that and edit it on to the end. And uh, I'm going skiing with dad this afternoon. That's going to be really awesome. Uh, maybe we'll get, <laughs> I'll do some video of dad and you can see what a real battle stash looks like. He, he wears his for style. <laughs> Mine is uh, uh, not so stylish. Anyway, so that's this week. Um, yeah, focus on being happy. And uh, I, know I was supposed to talk about quinoa. Eat quinoa. I don't know. Uh, my sister-in-law sent me this recipe for quinoa porridge. Look it up. It's delicious. It's on Facebook. And there's a Jake Fit group on Facebook. You have to ask permission to be added. I don't know why. You all have permission. And, uh, you know, share it around. I want this to be a thing. I want... Because I am so motivated by you guys. There, there's like, you know, 34 people in the group already. And I'm getting the best feedback. And I post stuff like, oh, what do you do when you feel like your weight is stuck? What do you do? And people are writing it back and you post questions. I mean, these guys are awesome. Some of them are really fit. Some of them are in a different process like me of trying to get fit. Some of them aren't sure yet. And uh, yeah, just do it. Just uh, get on there and share this, share the vlog around. I really, I want it to be a thing. I want Jake Fit to be a thing that people are like, oh yeah, well, if that, if that fat slob can do it, maybe I can do it. Just make, you know, something's got to click in your head at some point. Um, visualizing uh, where you're going is a big thing. I meant to talk about that today, but I don't want this to be a super long vlog. So uh, let's, let's talk about that next time. We got weeks and weeks. We got, still got like five and three quarters months of this to do. I'm feeling great though, guys. I got to tell you, I feel freaking great. I do feel freaking great. Um, so uh, think about visualization. I know I said that in the middle of the week, but think about where you've been and where you've gone and where your stumbling blocks have been and how you're going to bust past them. I'm going to bust past my plateau if, if this is a plateau. And uh, yeah, just enjoy. Enjoy the week and be happy. And uh, we'll clip into the weigh-in thing. What am I forgetting to tell you? Oh yeah, the shave a happy face in your chest challenge. So this was my inspired idea for how I'm going to, can you even see my face? Is it too dark? In there. Um, for how I'm going to lose, uh, break through my plateau every week for the next three weeks, including, no, not including this week, but starting next week. Um, I am going, if, if my weight doesn't go down even by like 0.2 pounds, <laughs> I'm very self-conscious with no shirt on as it is. I'm going to shave a happy face in my chest hair. <laughs> and uh, so it's got to go down. Uh, the, I do not want to shave that face in my chest hair. If you're a dude and you want to take the shave a happy face in your chest hair challenge, uh, join me if you're a woman and you have a hairy chest. You know what? Join me anyway. I'm curious. I'm curious. Uh, Chrissy wouldn't want me telling you this, uh, but um, when we met, she had just a carpet of hair on her chest. <laughs> That's not true. She doesn't have a hairy chest. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to edit that out. She's going to see it. Um, anyway, so uh, there it is. I'll see you at the weigh-in. Wish me luck and uh, good luck to you guys this week. If you're doing the fitness journey with me, let's do it. Let's be happy. Live like a week of Fridays and uh, report in. I want to hear good. I want to hear good stuff. Subscribe to the videos and share them around. Say goodbye to Lennox. Goodbye, Lennox. He's so skinny. What's your secret, Lennox? What's the secret of weight loss? I haven't eaten anything since you brought the baby home. Oh, okay. See you next week. So, well, see you at the weigh-in and then next week. Bye. Hi, Battle Stash. Hi, Jake. Will you be my accountability? You know I will.
Hey. Oh. Oh. How do I make it focus on me? There we go. Okay. So we're going to do the weigh-in. I just ran three miles. I'm trying to be quiet so I don't wake up the baby. And uh, yeah, so wish me luck. I, I better take my iPod off. It must weigh at least six grams. So you guys know I've been kind of stuck the last uh, couple of days. And, uh, you know, we'll just see what happens. I'm, uh, I'm hoping to see some progress to keep the motivation going. But even if there's no progress, you got to stay motivated. Your time and pressure... Uh, just keep working away at it and it will come off. It'll come off. I'm sure it'll come off. If it doesn't come off, I'm gonna have to shave a smiley face in my chest. So just let me put this down for a second. You notice our Italian Renaissance style light fixtures? Very classy. There's my bathrobe. Okay. Sweet. There it is, you guys. To 11.2. That's pretty good. That's more than two pounds down. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, time and pressure. I'm pretty happy with that. Geez, I thought I was really going to be stuck and I uh, wasn't going to see any progress. So, you know, now a pound of that, again, is probably sweat, but I worked out last time before I weighed in, too. So, there you go. Hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll be seeing some big numbers coming off. Battle stash is uh, starting to get a little bit more full. And uh, if he lingers around too long, I'm gonna start looking like Wyatt Earp. So uh, anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.